want you to picture yourself driving down this highway that we're going to call marriage. You inevitably begin to notice that as you drive down the road, there are exit signs. Written on them are the names of many of the distractions that are in our marriages. Work, kids, fights, extended family, church, alcohol, drugs, adultery. As you take an exit, you see there's a car waiting there for your passenger, for your spouse. Your spouse gets out of your car and gets into the waiting car. And now you begin, drive, begin driving in a different direction than the marriage highway. And after a while, you really realize you cannot remember how to get back to it. And the relationship you had when your passenger was riding with you is changing dramatically for the worse. Most people would consider exit signs in marriage to be things that are inherently bad. Things like the alcohol abuse, the drugs, and the adultery, because they are marriage killers. My experience with working with couples where there's alcohol abuse and drug abuse is that the alcohol or the drug becomes the most important thing in the person's life, and everything else takes a back seat. The marriage deteriorates and eventually dies. Adultery it wrecks havoc with our marriages, and less than 5% of the couples who experience adultery make it in their marriage. It's an exit sign that destroys marriages. But even good things can serve as exits for a marriage. For example, kids are great and they're a real blessing, but if you let them come between you and you constantly fight over how to handle them, you grow far apart in your marriage. The same is true for work or church or extended family. If anything comes between the two of you in your marriage, it can be a marriage killer. Consider this. If a distraction is an exit from your marriage, it's bad. So be aware of the distractions that serve as exits in your marriage and avoid them, avoid them at all costs.